नमस्कार टुडे वी विल स्टडी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्चुअल वर्क एंड पर्टिकुलरली वी विल लुक एट वर्चुअल फोर्स मेथड अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्चुअल फोर्स मेथड एक्सटर्नल वर्चुअल वर्क इज इक्वल टू इंटरनल वर्चुअल वर्क virtual force method can be expressed in mathematical form as delta p dot triangle equal to summation of delta f dot u where delta p is the virtual force which we apply on the body at the location where we want to find out actual displacement of the body triangle is the real displacement of the body at the point of interest delta f is the virtual reaction which gets developed inside the body in reaction to virtual load delta p u is the real reactions which get which get developed inside the body in response to the real loads experienced by the body now since delta p is some arbitrarily selected virtual load it allows us to handle the situation more easily if we take delta p equal to unity so now this expression becomes 1 bar dot triangle equal to summation of p bar dot u where 1 bar is virtual unit force triangle is the real displacement of a point in the direction of the applied virtual unit force p bar <coughs> is virtual internal forces in equilibrium with the virtual unit force and u is real internal displacement of a body for trusses this expression of force method of virtual load uh, virtual force method becomes 1 bar into triangle equal to summation i equal to 1 to n pi bar fi li ai uh, uh, p bar fi li divided by ai ei where 1 bar is virtual load which we apply <clears throat> at the point where we want to find out real uh, deformation triangle is real uh, displacement at the point of interest pi bar is virtual reaction which gets developed in ith member of the truss due to virtual loading fi is real force uh, is the real force which gets developed in a member due to uh, the real loads li is length of ith member of the truss ai is area of cross section of ith member and ei is young's modulus of elastic elasticity of material of ith member similarly for beams force method of virtual uh, work principle can be expressed as 1 bar into triangle is equal to integral of m bar into m by ei dx where 1 bar is unit virtual force which we apply on the beam on the point where we want to find out the deflection triangle is the deflection of the point of interest triangle is a unknown 
quantity. Amber is <coughs> internal moments which get developed in the beam due to application of unit virtual force. Capital M is uh, bending moment in, in the beam due to uh, application of real loads. In a beam, if we want to find out angular deformation at some point over the length of the beam, then the formula which allows us to find out the angular deformation is 1 bar into theta equal to integral from 0 to L m bar capital M divided by EI into dx, where 1 bar is unit virtual couple which we apply at the location where we want to find out angular deformation. Theta is angular deformation of the point of interest. M bar is internal moment which get developed in the beam in response to virtual loading of the beam. Capital M is bending moment over the length of the beam due to actual loading of the beam. Let us try to understand force method of virtual work by considering this example. In front of our screen, there is a cantilevered beam. This cantilevered beam is experiencing a uniformly increasing uh, load. This uniformly increasing load is zero at the extreme right end and at extreme left end, the load becomes W naught. At any distance x from right end of the beam, the load is W naught x by L. In this question, we want to find out what, what would be the uh, angular deformation at x equal to L by 2 from right end of the beam. That is, we want to find out how much would be the angular deformation exactly at middle of this cantilevered beam. To do this, first of all, we would we will draw the bending moment diagram of this beam. So at distance x from right end of this beam, bending moment can be written as minus x by 2 into w naught x by l into x by 3 and that is minus w naught x cubed by l and you can see bending moment diagram which we have drawn in uh, on the screen has a non-linear curve now next what we will do is we will remove this actual loads from this cantilevered beam and apply unit virtual couple exactly at x equal to L by 2 from either end of the beam. Due to this virtual uh, loading, moments will appear in the beam. These moments are virtual moments and virtual bending moment diagram have been drawn in the uh, have been drawn and is seen on the screen. And we can see at from x equal to 0 to L by 2, virtual bending moment is 0. And from x equal to L by 2 to L, virtual bending moment is minus 1 Newton meter. Now we will apply the mathematical expression of force method of virtual work. That is, 1 into theta is equal to integral of m bar capital M divided by EI dx integration from 0 to L. m bar we know is minus 1 from 
L by 2 to L and 0 from 0 to L. So this integral expression becomes 1 by EI integration from L by 2 to L bracket start minus 1 bracket close bracket start again minus W x cubed by 6L bracket close dx where minus W naught x cubed by 6L is bending moment experienced by the beam due to actual loading of the beam. After evaluating this integral expression, we find that angular deformation at x equal to L by 2 is 15, 15 into W L cube divided by 384 EI. Now let us look at another example. In this example, there is a beam A, B, C. This beam is pinned at end A. This beam is attached to a member DB at B. And this beam is experiencing a, experiencing a vertical load of two kilonewton at location C. Here, we want to find out what would be vertical deflection of point C due to load of 2 kN at point C. Again, I repeat, in this particular uh, question, we want to find out what will be the vertical deflection of point C due to application of 2 kN of load at point C. Let us see how we can do it using force method of virtual work. So first of all, we will remove actual load of 2 kN from point C and instead apply virtual load of 1 kN at point C. Due to this load of 1 kN, there will be reactions F1, F2 and F3. These are the virtual reactions which get generated in response to virtual load of 1 kN at point C. Now, <coughs> from our understanding of statics, let us equate all the forces in y direction equal to zero. That means F2 plus 3 by 5 F3 minus 1 equal to zero. And also let us equate all the forces in the x direction equal to zero. If we do that, we have F1 minus 4 by 5 F3 equal to zero. And again, now what we do is we will equate all the moments at point about point A equal to zero. If you do that, we have 3 by 5 F3 into 2 minus 6 equal to zero. Now we get three equations from statics. Solving these three equations, we arrive at F1 equal to 4 kN, F2 equal to minus 2 kN, and F3 equal to 5 kN. Now let us again consider this beam. This beam is experiencing loads as we have just seen F1, F2 and F3. Due to these loads, let us draw the bending moment diagram M bar diagram. The M bar diagram is like is a triangle where the vertex is having a vertical coordinate of minus four kilonewton meter. Now let us look at the real loading of the beam. In reality, the beam is experiencing two kilonewton of load at extreme right end. Due to this two kilonewton of load at extreme right end, left end of the beam would experience reaction of eight kilonewton from support in horizontal direction and reaction of four kilonewton in vertical direction from pinned end.
support. Also, link DB would exert a tensile load of 10 kN on the beam. Due to these loads, bending would be experienced by this beam and the bending moment diagram has been drawn in such a manner that the bending moment diagram is a triangle and the vertex of the triangle, the topmost point, is at a location minus 8 kN meter. Now next we will apply the mathematical expression of principle of uh, force method of virtual work. So that is 1 bar into triangle equal to summation of P bar FL by AE plus integration of uh, M bar capital M by EI from 0 to L in X direction. Now from our whole analysis we can now tabulate the uh, forces which we have evaluated for different members of this beam. For there are two members, member DB and member AB. So let us look at the members. So here we have member DB and there is a member AB. member db and ab they are experiencing virtual reactions due to application of virtual load at point c and these members are also experiencing real reactions capital f due to application of two kilonewton of load at point c and in this table length area of cross section and uh, quantity P bar FL by A have also been tabulated. Now we will evaluate expression M bar M by EI integration 0 to L in X direction and we will substitute the value of M bar and capital M in it. Here you can see that <coughs> uh, uh, we are integrating from 0 to 2 and from 0 to 4. Here it is worth mentioning that x coordinate is uh, origin of the x coordinate is from left end of the beam that is at location A and origin of x1 x1 coordinate coordinate of uh, this uh, uh, beam is at the rightmost point that is point c this has been done just for the sake of simplicity Otherwise, we have, could have we kept only one variable uh, that is variable x or variable x1. So the, this expression comes out at 15.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilonewton meter. Now, if we substitute it in the expression of uh, force method of virtual work, we get triangle equal to 19 mm. So that means Point C deflects by 19 mm when load of 2 kN is applied at point C.
Now let us look at a curved beam which is having a radius r and which is fixed at one end and its end a is experiencing a vertical load capital P. We want to find out how much would be deflection in horizontal direction of end A when this curved beam is experiencing a vertical load of capital P. To solve this problem, first, what we will do is we will subject point A to a horizontal load of 1 Newton. Here, 1 Newton is unit virtual load. Also, please consider a section in this beam at angle theta. And we can see that this section which we have considered at angle theta from the vertical direction is experiencing a virtual uh, bending moment of minus r bracket start 1 minus cos theta bracket close. Next, let us now consider actual loading of the curved beam and also consider section at angle theta from the vertical direction. And here again, we can understand that section considered at angle theta from vertical direction, from vertical axis, experiences a bending moment of minus E R sine theta. Now let us apply force method of virtual work. And we know according to the force method of virtual work, one bar into triangle is equal to integral of m bar capital M divided by EI ds integration from zero to L. Where m bar and capital M have been derived here m bar is minus r bracket start 1 minus cos theta bracket close and m is minus pr sine theta. So when we substitute these things in this expression and also replace ds by r d, th r d theta and if we integrate it from 0 to pi by 2 we get triangle equal to pr cube divided by 2 ei. So this gives us deflection of, uh, deflection of point A in vertical in horizontal direction due to application of load P at A in vertical direction.